Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to the Great War Redux mod for Hearts of Iron Forum, your host, Mr. Ching, Government Lover. But right now, this is where we are at with the Non King Clique as well as the Feng Shang Clique. In which, well, we've lost 29,000 guys, but we're China, so that doesn't matter at all. Uh, we've got quite a few of them, but it actually didn't quite well. I, mean, I, I had to rush out quite a few divisions so we could you know, do okay against Nanjing, but overall, I would say that this is going quite well for us, but we got some comms to go through, such as. Can you do the Republic of China in the Great War Redux? Well, okay, we can do them next, I suppose, probably. Uh, we'll see, but we could try the, the uh, Republic of China next. Someone says, my apologies, I meant to play as the Qing Empire and the Qing Submod in the Great War Redux. Oh, either way, it's so good. Oh, well, it's my bad, dude. Uh, yeah, Belgium fell pretty fast, historically. Someone says, also says, can you make another playthrough of the UK? Someone says, was it really impossible, or were the true placements horrible? Well, it's really kind of impossible, because the devs wanted to go realistic, says someone else. Uh, the same person said they made the Qing the weakest country on earth. So, someone says, "Be careful, Nanjing." This someone says, "This mod isn't the Great War Redux. It's a normal one." You're lying, Mr. Mocha Lover. Well, I double checked the mod when I loaded the Hoi Four up. It says Re War, War Redux. Well, I'll check for the Qing uh, sub mod as well. Maybe we'll, we'll take a we'll take a look for that. So, we'll see what happens. But let's continue on. Currently, we're doing Peking University, of course, uh, over here. <laughs> we cannot stop our education reforms at simply making it more accessible. We also go ensure the ensure the brightest minds can perfect the crafts and theories of the universe across the nation. Destroyers fleet. Destroyers are a great initiative. Investing them is vital to restoring the fleet. Why not? As we are just well, should be attacking like crazy eventually down here. Oh, look at all that lag. Ah, uh, gotta love it. 1916. What a great year. Nothing bad happened that year at all. Armored cards. I think it's probably too late to invest in that. I still don't understand why that's still ahead of time, but whatever. Do we have any howitzers? Sure. Why not? Go ahead and finish repairing there, that's fine. Um, Nanping? Of course, we're trying to make an achievement up here too, which is very nice. Duchy of Curlin is gone. Goodbye, good sir. And do that if you can. Yeah, might as well help out as well. Hello. Oh. I don't think you'll make it to Nanping. Or Nanjing. Or whatever it was down there. Fast enough, so. Naning. That's close. Trying to take out and destroy enemy divisions like this, not super easy. We're about to get in circle here, aren't we? Crap. But if you can beat him up, that'd be pretty nice. Yeah, you're about to get in circle soon. At least that division's gone. Go in now. Everyone go. Go, go, go. See what you can do. We're all green on the front for now. This first industry, of course, is pretty nice. More extraction. Up here, we've lost a little bit of territory, of all things, but we'll deal with them as soon as we're done with this group down here, so. Oh, they're doing force defense. Interesting. Oh, I was not expecting that. Truth be told. Nice, we'll get those divisions back here. That'll be good. Oh, you're actually going to help, help out down here, too. Okay, that's interesting. Kolchak becomes the. Oh, yeah, the Soviets are here, too. So, Lenin versus Kolchak. Actually. Yeah. And it's Mongolia would be a piece. God dang it. And they're still struggling down here, which. Not bad. It's just a giant mess. I'm still taking us up there. That's fine. Whatever. Um, actually, if anything, you go here. You go there and do that. Marine engineering. It's not enough to re simply rebuild a fleet. We must modernize. Oh, you guys just go in. You seriously take like all the coast. If you can. That'd be pretty nice. And Nanning, if you can. Red Finn's gone. Oh, look at that. Finn's won. Little Finn's beat up the Finn's. Yay. The death of Herbert K Kitchener. Oh boy. His body was never recovered. You just go this way, Nanping. No, sir, Nanping here. No, 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 no. Got quite a few of them, though. We could force the attack, but that'd be. Uh, that might be a bit too disastrous. Oh, we got in circle now. God dang it. Well, go that way then. It's pretty ridiculous how much you actually have to do to try to even destroy divisions, which is kind of nuts and crazy in and of itself. War propaganda would be pretty nice, though. Um, reorganized railway system. Oh, what do we got here? Nothing here that we really care about. No, no, no. Free trade. Well, still not, uh, not, not having, so. Great Arabian Revolt. All right, then. Guangzhou. And go back to Nanning. Construction speed, yes. Oh, that, oh, that's very nice. 
My goodness, you take so long to kill them off. Now we're still trying to build more civvies too, so. Civvies are nice. Very nice to have. Guangxu, Xi, Sha. Agent captured. Well, that's not good. Asir. Oh, you might actually be able to win there, huh? And then subfleet. Uh, Dreadnought. I like Dreadnought for everyone. Dreadnought's carry power unheard of, and our ships do not dare to stand up to them, so it's time to make our own move. Just go to Nanning. Could you capitulate? Maybe, yeah, you should be able to capitulate. Maybe take Nanning, but we'll see. Not bad overall. This guy's learned quite a bit. In general, Long Jing Yu Guang. Oh, Judy Breslitovsk. Oh boy. Come on. Let's peace out. Let's get that peace deal going. War economy is pretty good, though. How are they not dead yet? Bro, this is dumb. All right. Now that's quite a bit better. All right, everyone. So now I've, I've full, pulled back our line. Pulled back. Pulled back our line in which now... Oh, don't we be making a help mortar? Oh, mortars. Oh. Howitzers. Huh. Oh, that's a lot of soft attack. But I pulled it back just so that we can be on the line. Um, have a lot of strength. And then we're going to run out of supplies now once we go to war. Go to war. Uh, attack them. Because supplies are just so bad up there. It's ridiculously bad. So hopefully, if we have a really, really good push, we can push fast and far into the enemy's territory. That's at least my hope, but whether that'll happen or not, well, we'll have to wait and see. Go and force it. Force it, force it, force and force them to die. Because right now we're doing domestic fleet uh, doctrine. Ships that are useless without strategy. Yeah, armored vehicles. A very new form of technology is taking root in the battlefield. While achieving mixed results, it would be quite beneficial to investigate their, further, their effectiveness further. Yes, I apologize for slurring my words, too. This guy's probably going to die just because we don't have anybody here yet. Um, Chen Tin Ting. Was it? Who's it do? Was it? Was it you guys? Where do we send this guy? Oh yeah, Feng Xing Cleek. Cool. Yeah, hey, he's probably gonna die over there. That's alright. Whatever. Um, just keep going on. Oh, got an enemy squad. Nice. Keep going in. Go, go faster if you can. They're doing forest defense. Wow. A little crazy, but they got the spirit, which is fine, whatever. Nice. Good. Uh, we're currently... That's a lot of losses for them. 109,000, it's lost 17,000-ish. So that's not bad. Pretty good. The faster you can win and get around them, the better. See, supplies are getting so much better now. Uh, let's go F4. Our supply base is here, but we need all the railroads that are to connect this all up to the Mukden as well, so... I'll um, do that too if you can. Go around him. You go straight for Mook Den. If, they can't, if we can't have supply, then they can't have supply. That's the thing. Uh, honestly, you can probably use way more of this. There you go. Nice. And we're making some cast too. That's pretty good. Force it. Nice. Eh, maybe we'll still be able to rescue him. We'll see. Mook Den, please. Oh, okay, so just surround it then. Uh oh. Oh, well, that's pretty good for us. Nice. Alright, that dude becomes a dude. Crewman in Asia. No, we're good right now. Fushun. Go right there, Fushun. Now they're completely cut off. There you go. That's not bad. How many divisions we got left? Seven to nine? Yep, that's pretty much it. Six, seven, eight. Oh, it's a charging station. Cool. Very cool. We don't have a lot of them. Mortars, howitzers. We need way more guns now. Holy crap. Makes sense, though. Keep going in. Keep going in. Mukden will fall eventually. And we have quite a bit of army XP. Are we done? No. Oh. We're completely done with the land auction? Oh, we are. That's nice. Um, bold attack. Get more attack. 
Party, party, party popularity, stability modifier, leadership, cost. I always like getting this one. Theater training, at least I like it now. More terrain chance, stuff like that. Here, get some fuel cells because you can, because what else we going to do with that stuff? Um, professional arm, officer core. Daily command power and command. Ooh, honestly, that's probably the best one we could do for now. Cavalry actually would be pretty good too. Daily command power gain. Commander abilities cost. Ooh, I kind of like that one though. Yeah, that's pretty good. And this one's max entrenchment plus 10% seems really strong. Mm. Better recon. Supply consumption. Well planned attack. You know what? I'll go with well planned attack here. Nice. Good job, guys. And I know we shouldn't have let this, let leave this running, but southern factories. Now the preparations have been made. We've been working on numerous construction proposals. Nice. Good gosh, we're gonna want to get them all out. But this is the big last one we really need. Ooh, the Soviet Union is winning. It is 1970 now, though. Everybody, hope you're having a great day. The Ukrainian state. Oh, look at that. It's kind of a beautiful thing. Skoropatsky. Well, it exists for now. We'll see what happens. And then fight against famine. Well, the no nobility, while the nobility live in luxury, the peasants are starving. Efforts must be made to restore the civilian economy. People surely appreciated this or approve this. And that's where making some millies. 100% anywhere. Yes. Yes, sir. Level five, eh? Well planned attack, huh? And now America's in the war. Ludendorff offensive. Level 6, level 5. Let's go with, uh... Let's go with that one. Something different. And we got him! Alright. <clears throat> now, and it's Mongolia. In 10 days... Uh, oh! The government ideas have no longer been fulfilled. Well, crap. That's not good. Well, do we just straight up annex them? That'd be kind of cool if we can. Boys, who? Boys, huh? Maybe we get annex Warhol, probably. No, we just straight up annex them. Holy crap. Wow, okay. Nice. Very nice. Well, then. Uh, do we get more resources? Eh, yeah, I got some aluminum at least. Extracted. Exported. Oh, wow. We may want to consider going down to limit exports now. That looks a little better for us. We need way more guns, though. Guiz who, huh? Really not looking so good. Mortars? Do we get enough for mortars? Maybe. Twenty-four soft stack. Four point eight. Support mortars. Supply use goes way up. What's the point of these? Yeah, mortars are not worth it. Are they? Hold on. They refuse to obey us. That's fine. Whatever. I'm not too worried about this one. Um, yeah, that seems very weak. Eight soft attack and five breakthrough versus five breakthrough and 18 soft attack. A howitzer, though, I'll give you 33 more soft attack and give you way more supply use, which is not good. Howitzers are the way to go. Screw mortars. Yeah, go with howitzers. Give you way more soft attacky. And I like it when it's all soft. Very good, very good, very good, very good, very good. Ah, yes. I'm in succumbent. Delightful. Well, I would like to go back to war economy, but I don't think we can. You non? Oh, let's probably go with McLeek next.
Very nice. Come on. Don't make me force it. Don't make me force it. And... I know it's mountains, but still, come on, man. This is so stupid. It's fighting against famine, which is good. Now get more political power, too. Alright. There we go. Since we're down here anyways, you must do this group first, then. You didn't even join us in the war, you piece of garbage. Yunnan, you're next. Oh, that's not bad. Now it's kind of bad. Oh, you don't even have a thing there? Oh, none of you guys have things. Okay, that's not good. Tibet. Rightfully Chinese. Oh, wow, the Austrians have pushed in a little bit, haven't they? Alright, let's see what they say. They're probably going to say no. Do they have any divisions? I guess they do have a few, yeah. Up to 12, so. Hmm. Be careful what it is. Outers would be nice. Don't have enough guns. What else is new, though? Fortification 2s. Brazil joins... Oh, well, that's a lot faster than I thought. Long you and I will play as eventually. And to know. That's just for here. Muckleek. Nice. Whee! All like that. That'll be good. Surround them and go ahead and pound them and all that good stuff. Let's see. So these divisions are actually overall pretty good. We got logistic companies, which is not bad. Got some support howitzers. Artie's not terrible either. And of course, they would refuse to obey us. Yeah, you guys get 18, 33. More howitzers are better, but it does require the same amount of supply cost. And you actually need less howitzers than these guys. They give you, do they do give you less defense, so. Uh, they give you quite a bit more defense for these guys. And a little more breakthroughs. We'll go with like artillery. Do you have any extra howitzers? No? Okay then. Yeah, let's go there too. Uh, you know what? Split the cost between you two. A little more soft attack, a little bit less defense. It's a give and take, you know. I'll do that. There you go. Room relations, huh? That is forbidden. Forbidden. No, no, no. Oh, can't even go to there. Holy crap. Anything here? No. Anything here? No. Anything here? Ah, finish that one up first. Why not? You'll be done very soon. Wow, that was really quick, too. I love it quick. Two and a half every single day. Very good, very good. Gold mood. Nice. Why are you leaving them alone? Find them in and get rid of them. Here, force it. Because you can. No sense we're here. We can't even do this. We have to be a piece of. Demand the return. Hopefully they'll give it to us, but you never know. Construction speed, very good, very good. Looking pretty darn decent, not gonna lie. Now this part's gonna suck, because supply. Oh, it's gonna suck hard. So I've got the 15 divisions, they're almost gone. If you take gold mood, we pretty much win immediately, but... We'll see, Malin. We'll see. Out of... Well, they're about to be out of man, man. They don't have that many factories anyways. It's pretty good overall. Actually, so here, might as well throw all these guys in Tibet. Tibet Papa. Papa Tibet. 
Force it. Go there, you cut him off. Not bad, guys. Not bad. Go there, too. Nice. Another division encircled. Good. It's very costly, but... I mean, we're playing as China. It doesn't really matter. Or you just go there and go to Gomu that way. Oh, come on, man. Let's go. Let's go. I look at Kumul Khanet and then Zhejiang and... Or Xinjiang, I mean. Zhejiang is something else. UBD, now look at... Is it historical to have Italy up here? I want to say no, but I could be wrong. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm not wrong about that. Stratocracy? Wow. I don't think I've ever seen this portrait before. Raymond. Raymond. Government staff for schools. Is it... Did Germany take... No, 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 Bruges historically? I don't remember that one either. Wait, you're still on the Entente, but you're not fighting yet. Okay. Huh. Red move. I have to say Red Dawn. Oh, like, oh, goodness. <clears throat> are you actually... Oh, you are moving. That looks good. Oh, good lord. This is going to be god-awful to fight in. Force it. Force it. Come on, take gold mood. That's all you need. We got him. Woo! Boy, God, do supplies suck here in 1918? I have a feeling they might still suck nowadays, too. Probably slightly better than it was back then, but... You know? I'm not sure it gets a lot of attention. Just saying. Well, I hate how it's set up like that. What the heck? Just think you guys do this. Oh my goodness. You might not need those guys, so. Oh, is this in Kyung? What? Oh, that's gonna suck. Oh, that's gonna suck majorly. Of course, they refuse to obey us. Makes sense. Going to start school. And I guess see you when we're actually able to uh, go and take them out. And here we are at, everybody, in which we are pretty much slaving away at trying to uh, get rid of these East Asian folk. Or is it Western Asian? I guess Western, Western group. So uh, yeah, that's definitely going. It's not great. I uh, capitulated to Kamil Kane, which was a pop up. We lost a lot of guys, though, so. Um, that was pretty good. It, it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad fighting in the mountains. We're running out of supplies, usually not, not so great. Really not so great. But we're doing okay. I'm not sure we're having a lot of their divisions, but you know what? I'm not going to ask questions. Uh, they got actually like, quite a few up there. Oh, what's happening over here? Also, Company Armistice? Oh, it's 1918. Wait, what? Wait, what? Access our Belarus. Politicians from Antan countries and nationals as making important decisions such as the establishment of the League of Nations, conclude treaties with the defeated countries, and establishment or establishing the mandates in which a victorious country rules over the foreign territories of the defeated country. Retaliation? Uh I've been wondering about Oh goodness. Against Germany, let's discuss the establishment of country boards that are reflecting national boundaries. A sharp decline in price of farm production due to the restoration of European agriculture after the war provoked the impoverishment of villages in the country. The crisis is especially bad for countries with large production. Something bad is coming. Uh. What? The war is not. What is this? Japanese manufacturer? Japan's rapid industrialization has seen green success while our own navy is falling behind. It's time to change this. Oh, whoa, you just destroyed Austria-Hungary for no reason. I know it's supposed to be historical and all, but like, bro. It's only, it's not, what? Well then. 
We're still trying to fight over here, too. Which we've lost a couple divisions because we keep forcing the attack, but whatever. Um... Pretty bad. This is honestly pretty god awful right now. Uh, they're out of guns. They're out of manpower too, so any damage you do, they can't replace. Oh man. Oh, whatever. Paris Peace Conference. Uh, free territory. Oh, goodness gracious. Also, we do have Farm Crisis. Oh, goodness. That's really bad. We have an influenza right now as well, which is pretty. <clears throat> Not good. Close education facilities is fine. Um, is that some news about epidemic? Sure, why not? Is this Makno? Yeah, I'm Nestor Makno. Well then. Uh, Shanghai shipyards, Chinese you getting to be ruled by the Chinese Navy. Alright. And I guess Soviet Union, or Soviet Russia, is pretty much going to win, so. Wow. I guess I forgot these guys did go. Bella Coon, huh? Carl Seitz is a social democrat. Oh, Ferdinand the first is still here. Serbia. Central power still well. I wanna say it still exists. Trying to being forced to take every single tile is a bit extreme. It really is a bit extreme. And I get it that, you know, they probably fight until the very last of their breaths, but still. And then we have like nothing here, but still. This is dumb. They have to fight until the very last man. Get over here, guys. Come on. I've already just consolidated some units. Yeah, uh, here. Supplies are so bad. Train is so bad. I'm always trying to consolidate him. There's no point not to. Do that. It's just supplies. It's just so god awful. At least this one's almost done, but then we still need to build that supply base, and then that supply base. You just hold and just combine. Yeah, I don't know. I'm about to have to use Consequence for because this is so god awful. Guys, stop going over here. I, I, why don't they just stop? Just stop. And. Yeah, I mean, this is really bad. So I'm going to use Consequence to annex them. Well, everyone, I just use Consequence to annex them. I got sick and tired of this. I mean, that's not fun to play up here, so I am i don't care. I really don't care. Develop a vaccine, introduce martial law in cities, that's fine. Reunite China? Might as well. And we're back. The Great Chingy's once again back, but not quite. Not. Quite. What? No. Uh, no. No. We're gonna have to go to war with those guys. Um, well, you will have to use uh, commands as well, but whatever. Uh, let's see. We'll get there in just a little bit again. Uh, coastal defense. Our out navy's out critically outdated. Cannot ensure proper coastal defense. Further expansion of naval industry will help solve this. Honestly, at this point, I'm just going to take these guys out ourselves. Uh, I'm going to make them remove their uh, guarantee of independence because uh, is that historical? It might be, but I don't really care. And here we are at now, everybody. We have gone to war with Tibet, and, well, they're not doing so well against us. And we're still struggling in the mountains, but... It's the mountains, what do you expect? I expect a lot of love in the mountains, but... The Soviets did win their little civil war. Far Eastern Republic's over here, huh? Ah, Krasno... what? Who? Krasno Shekov. Cool. Napoleon's at war with the Russians. Dolsutsky's doing okay, but not really. Petrovsky, Petrovsky. Historically, Warsaw was a frontline city. Even though it was a miracle on the Warsaw River there, or whatever it was. So, oh Germany, you looking? Wow, really sad. Very sad, actually. Oh Friedrich, you are now a bitter loser. Ah. Ah, well, there goes to bat. At least that's good. Well, now what? Is that it? Death of Pr uh, Prince John, constitutional monarchy, has to be 16 years old. Um. Uh, you 
just need better relations and is that all we need? Improve relations maybe and rebuild the fleet. Let's get out of where we're at currently because it's probably really bad. The YP's pulling, huh? Alright then. Got a couple more divisions then. Very good. Um, we can do that too. Uh, can't do any of that. <clears throat> Doesn't matter which one we go to for that one. Um, oh, there we go. British manufacturers. If we ever gain our prestige, we must put our pride aside and help seek from the, from those who have weakened us. Can we demand a way high way? Oh, that's me after. Oh, what? 1930. Return to Qingdao. Dao, I guess then that one be okay, but like what? Poo ye. I want to do this one. The Emperor's old enough to be crowned. We have succeeded in our transition. Glory to Zhuang Tong. Poo ye, what year was he born in? He was born. Oh. Oh goodness. 1906. We would have to wait till 1922. Uh, I don't think we're going to wait that long, so... we going to have to be old enough to be crowned. Purchase of machines. While we do have the best intentions of modernizing, we sort of lack the capability to do so as a result of outdated equipment. The British have been offering to sell some of their machines in order to survive our industries. Uh, what is this one? The British colonies are sorely in need of workers. If we offer to send out some of our criminals to aid their efforts, may lead to better cooperation between our nations. Domestic aviation. Uh, despite our efforts, air combat is something we were woefully inexperienced in. The British are willing to send some of their fighters. Cooperation with the Dominions. The Dominions are now our friends, then the Mandate of Heaven. We have reclaimed the Mandate of Heaven. We once again have the support of the people. <clears throat> As efficient reforms to transform the dynasty of power used to be, attempts to come and throw off the shackles of colonial oppression and serve a rightful place in the world. Uh, okay, we'll see what we can the do about that. The Portuguese Republic and Empire of Japan and the United Kingdom all refuse to leave China. The imperialists from the Europeans and Japanese refuse to end the occupation and prepare for a full-scale war with us. Now we have le made legitimate cast as Bella and their international corps. Uh, well, I'm mean, just gonna tell. We got Zhong Tong here now. Um, House of Aisin Gyoro. The Chinpo Tang. Uh, Hong Kong Electrics, I guess. Camco. Uh, Future Constitution of Qing Dynasty. Now that we're gonna declare modern, decent constitution in the name of the Emperor, but the directional nature of it differs among politicians. German style constitutional monarchy, which strong pair of power is good. Like in the UK, the Emperor should reign, but not govern. Um, the Empire of the Great Qing. I don't know which way we should go. Obviously, it's the German-style constitutional market has just been overthrown by those evil Western Westerners. Or whatever. Like the UK. Well, the UK invaded us. The Germans, well, they had also invaded us, but they didn't humiliate us like the UK, so. Screw you guys. Um, I think that's pretty much going to be it for us. I think that's pretty much it. And we can talk about the vaccines and stuff like that, but I don't think I really want to. So I think I'm going to end it there. I didn't realize there was a submod for the Qing Empire, but hey, if you enjoyed the campaign, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great, great, great Qing China. Rest of your day.